Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some funky jack-o'-liner nails for Angela Pearlfish. Today I've got Super Chick Lacquer Realm of Erotica YZWLE18 and BMS204. I'll be using Baby Girl Lacquer's Peel Off Base Coat. It's called Glitter Be Gone and this is Realm of Erotica. It's got ugly bottle syndrome but look the polish is still just as gorgeous as ever. So, many years back, I started doing some um, yearly jack-o'-lantern nails, and I kind of ran out of color combos as far as I was concerned in my head. But when Angela mentioned she missed them in a comment, I decided to go ahead and come up with another funky pair. So, I'm only using one coat of Realm of Erotica because it's very, very opaque. And I've topped it with some INMs out the door. This is YZWLE18. I'm going to use those lines. And typically I used, um, oop, and that's Bases Loaded Lacquer on the black. <laughs> typically I would use um, striping tape and, you know, put down the first color, striping tape, and then go over it with my second color. But this year I got smart and decided, huh. Let's just stamp them lines on there. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. And yes, I'm doing these on my super duper short nails. Because I'm just going to keep doing it while I've got them. And show you that you can play on little short nails. I do clean that plate off with pure acetone. And then we're going to hop on in with another round. Um... It just kind of came to me that why mess with striping tape and all that jazz when you can just stamp those lines on Get with it, you know, get it together, girl. And I just, I really wanted to see some red hollow and black jack-o'-lanterns. Sure did. And so I did it. She thought she could, so she did. Tap that down. And like I said, we're just bouncing on through. I'll do some cleanup here in just a little bit. And then we'll head on to the next step of these jack-o'-lanterns. My husband looked at him and said, oh, those are pumpkins on your nails. I said, no, pumpkins have no faces. Jack-o'-lanterns have faces. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't care to be corrected. So There we go. And one more. And I have no idea where this little weird plate came from. Um, but I'm sure you if, can find a plate in your collection that, you know, just has straight lines on it. And I'm going to go to all this trouble to get this extra line on this pinky nail, <laughs> and then it's going to disappear. <laughs> oh, honey, please. I think it's that nail. It might be this one right here. Yep, there we go. Okay. But anywho, we're going to get her done. So I got my tape out and cleaned up the excess off my skin and now I'm going in with my cleanup brush and just doing a tiny bit of tatting, cleaning. And then we're going to top it with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. Isn't that pretty? I love it just like that. But here's the old Bundle Monster S204 plate with the jack-o'-lantern faces. And bases loaded like her shutout will be my first stamp and polish, and then I'll go over them with Pencils Down by Maniology. So here we go. So I'm going to stamp them first in white, and then we'll top them. I'm going to try really hard to line them up good with the yellow. Because I just wasn't really sure how the yellow was going to pop on top of these. So there we go, got the first one down, gonna clean off my stamper, and then we're gonna head to the next one. I'm gonna do all of them in white and then go back through. Just clean the plate once, you know, in between instead of between each image and doing them double, you know, kind of silly. So here we go, gonna get one on that thumbnail. That one's cute. <laughs> I really do enjoy these, though, and I should have done this one earlier, but I do think I've done it in time enough to where maybe you could squeeze one of these in 
for your Halloween manicure if you really like the look. And you don't have to use the colors I used today. You could even go back in some of my old videos and maybe find other com color combos that you liked. But it started off, I used like a dark orange and a light orange the first year. And then I did it in pink. And then I did it in blue and green. And I just went around the color wheel, you know, and did it different every year. I've never used this image before, the little owl face image. I thought I'd give it a go this year. And I always use this one because it's little and it fits the pinky nail. <laughs> Very grateful there was one small enough for the pinky nail. Y'all, that's not very much room for a jack-o'-lantern face. So I am going to clean this plate up with some acetone and wipe it with the lint-free wipe. And now we're going to go over them with the yellows. The yellow toppers. And I do pretty good on most of them lining them up. Not perfect. I don't ever expect it to be perfect. So when I do... Pretty good lining it up. I'm good with that. There we go. Makes that yellow pop a little better, I think. And I broke out several different yellows trying them, and I ended up liking this one the best. So, of course, I didn't go all the way through the collection. You can't get all the way through the collection in a day. So, I just looked at what was out, and I could see. There we go. And grabbed one that was that I thought I'd like. Well, I did test two or three of them after pulling them off the shelf. And Pencils Down was the winner. And you'll see I use that little piece of tape to get up any excess that I don't want getting on my skin or my design. And that was kind of goofy looking. Not my favorite, but we need a little goofy, don't we? And I'm going to fess up right now. This little owl, I didn't line the face up very well. It was a little skinnier of a design. And I don't show it on camera, but I ended up stamping over it twice, hoping to make it look better. It didn't really change much. I must have went, like, you know, right on top of exactly what I had already done. So, um, I didn't show it, and but I did do it, so I'm letting you know. There we go. And Angela, I want to thank you for remembering, for knowing, and bringing it to my attention and saying something, you know, because I, I could have skipped this this year. And to be honest with you, I'm really glad you said something and I didn't skip it because this is one of my yearly traditions and I was fixing to fall off of it. So thank you, thank you. Get that little plate clean. Trying to get that plate clean. Might have to clean it up a little bit more later. Get that mat clean. There we go. I am going to top these again with the smudge free top coat. I'm going to get that to dry down. And then I'm going to add Sesh Feet as my final top coat today. My little blurry owl head. <laughs> Hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. Good deal. Here's my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.